Hey everyone, thanks for making DraftWizard the most popular fantasy football tool out there. Hope you're excited for the upcoming season. As you probably know, one of the most powerful features of DraftWizard is the Draft Assistant with Sync. It takes a lot of the stress out of your drafting experience by giving you real-time expert advice on who to pick during a real draft, as well as keeping track of picks made. If you're familiar with the Mock Draft Simulator, it is nearly identical in function, so practicing some Mock Draft simulations will get you familiar with the interface for your big draft day. Today we're going to cover how to set up the Draft Assistant with Sync with your league. The Draft Assistant with Sync is available for MVP and Hall of Fame users only and works with Yahoo, CBS, NFL.com, and a variety of other popular league hosts. If you're drafting on ESPN, please check our ESPN specific video as it will require you to install our Chrome extension. So let's get started. First, log into your Fantasy Pros account. As mentioned earlier, this applies only to MVP and HOF users, so we're going to log in here with one of our demo accounts. Next, import your league. The import process is straightforward. From either the My Leagues or Draft Assistant page, click the Add League button. You'll be asked to choose your league's host. Let's go with Yahoo today. I'm going to click Yahoo here, and next you're going to click the Connect to Yahoo to Configure Draft button here. You're going to be asked to give Draft Wizard authorization to connect with your Yahoo account, and you'll be asked to do so at this time. This gives Draft Wizard the permission to synchronize with your league's data. Don't worry, we do not store your account information on our servers. Your login info is sent directly to your league's site's servers. I'm going to hit next here, and you'll be asked to select the account that you want to proceed with. Yahoo's going to ask for permission to access your fantasy sports account. Hit agree. Once you've logged into Yahoo and given access, DraftWizard will automatically pull in your league's information. If you have multiple leagues, you'll be asked to select one. So here we'll select our test league. And you'll see that change in the league will also update the information. Once the information is pulled in, verify your draft settings or adjust as necessary. You can check your draft date and time, whether or not the draft is a snake draft or an auction draft, the scoring system. Here we have half PPR, the Yahoo default. And here you can enable Keeper League and Dynasty League options. Click Validate, and you'll be taken to the League Settings screen. Here you can edit or adjust things like your League Rules, Keepers, Draft Date and Time, or your Draft Order. Editing your draft order here can also account for traded picks. Clicking the Sync with Yahoo button will pull in any updated information from your league host. However, if you've manually entered things like keeper information or traded draft picks, we strongly encourage you to click Duplicate League here to make any adjustments, just in the event that some of that information gets overridden. Specifically for Yahoo leagues, they do not share draft order information until about 30 minutes prior to your draft even if the draft order is already set. In order to mock draft using a predetermined draft order, duplicate the league by clicking the Duplicate League button. Then, in the Duplicate League, adjust the draft order in this screen. You'll then be able to mock draft with your predetermined draft order. Once the draft order has been set, you can see here that we're working in the duplicated league from our previous step. You can start a mock draft to practice, launch the manual assistant, or more importantly, launch the draft assistant with sync. Once it's time for your real draft, come back to the draft assistant and sync it with Yahoo in that 30 minute window prior to your draft start. Now let's connect to a Yahoo Mock Draft to see the Draft Assistant with Sync in action. I've joined a Yahoo Mock Draft here on the right, and I've added it as a league following the steps we just went through. The Draft Assistant can automatically refresh picks made during the draft, 
That's the sync portion of the Draft Assistant. Once it's your turn, you'll be given the top four suggestions based on expert rankings, your cheat sheet, the best available players, and your roster needs. As you can see here, there's a Refresh Now button that will force a refresh to sync in the latest picks before your turn. In the Options menu, you'll see that it also defaults to Auto Refresh every 60 seconds. As the other managers and teams are picking their players, you'll see the Draft Wizard draft log automatically update. You can also see down here that the players as they're drafted are automatically crossed off of your cheat sheet. I also have made some customizations to my cheat sheet to target certain players and avoid certain players, as well as to mark certain players as potential sleepers. The draft assistant will also give you access to the draft board, a roster watch view which shows you which positions have been filled by which teams, and the pick predictor which gives you a pretty accurate estimate of the likelihood of a player being there for your next pick. Now it's my turn. I'm going to hit the Refresh Now button to make sure that all of the information is up to date. And we see here that the experts are recommending, 70% of them are recommending Devontae Freeman for my next pick. So I'm going to go over here into the Yahoo Draft Room and draft Devontae Freeman. Just a reminder, the Draft Wizard Draft Assistant cannot draft for you. You still have to manually enter the picks into your draft room. Once the draft is complete, the draft results will be brought into the draft analyzer so you can see how you did. Good luck this season, and if you have any questions, our support team is always available to help. Happy drafting!